Alrighty, we are at Berkeley Bowl. Apparently this place is better than Irwan. Let's give it a shot. I find this incredibly funny. <laughs> Alright. We're heading in. Some big beautiful watermelon here. <laughs> Let's go. Off for a kombucha run, yeah? Wait, wait. When they make these now? CBD infused sparkling water? Jeez Louise. I can't believe they put CBD in everything now. One thing I took for granted is the fact that there's an entire kombucha section that I forgot about. I forgot. After so many years away, I forgot about the kombucha section at the grocery store, and I really took that for granted because it's really hard to find kombucha outside of the U.S. for some reason. It'll probably be even harder to find this CBD-infused sparkling water we're so spoiled. Oh, my favorite. We Americans are so spoiled because there's an entire section of tortilla chips here. <laughs> Literally, this whole section is tortilla chips. We're so spoiled. Oh my God, it's good to be back. Oh, I'm back in America again. It's so good to be back. Everyone takes this stuff for granted, but I have a newfound appreciation for all these things. This one's the one that we tried. Pickled Planet, little kimchi sauerkraut. This one's also good. Soft caraway. That one's got dill in it. That was the last one with dill. Yum. We got the last garlic dill sauerkraut. Oh. This one's a little disappointing because the dragon fruit is awful. Awful. And it only came from Florida. That's awful. But this is like, I guess this is what you get. This is the Asian section. My God. This one is, oh, from Ecuador. Ooh. Sour grapes? They're actually called. Oh, sour like grapes. they're like wine grapes. I didn't know there was some, something called. They're like sour wine grapes. grapes, I think. I thought it was an expression, sour grapes. I no, know it's, a... it's a thing. Yep. Yep, that's sour, all right. Ooh. Do not like. Oh my god! Why do people get these? Yeah. These look really old, unfortunately, but we're gonna try it. Sure, I have one. Yeah, they still taste good. It tastes really good. Mmm. It's definitely the Asia section right here. Let's see. Cameron. Yep. Jujubes are good. Or go. These are no go. So this is the closest that I've seen okra chips. I mean, fresh off the boat from Taiwan. And I'm coming here and I see the closest thing I can find are these okra chips here. Mushroom chips. Beetroot chips are good. Vegetable chips are common. Mushroom chips and okra chips are the only thing that I find in Taiwan. And they're starting to introduce them here. But they look a lot smaller here than they do. Alright, I'm glad to see it. Many things for granted. There's not one, but one, two, three. 
three types of kale. They're, they ran out of the fourth, and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six types of broccoli. <laughs> It smells really, really good. It smells like lemon, but it's not lemon. I hope it's shishito chilies. I'll remember that for next time. It's the last one. Hey, ayo! I found the one Asian section for the potato chips. I still got it. Shrimp flavor, beef. Awesome. Even these, these thingies. And of course, what do you know? The bristles are here. My favorite cauliflower too <laughs> and an avocado. All right, now we're going back to the booch. Just we had a spill here, but we're going back. God. Oh my god, I have to see what this does. Especially this. Make it yourself. This is so tempting, actually. How do we do this? With cooking instructions in the back. Oh, it's apparently super easy too. Ooh. 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 All right. Okay. I love this. Oh my gosh. We Americans are so spoiled. So spoiled. Look how cute those coconuts are. They're little bears. And of course the celery juice is next to it. 